Hello everyone, welcome back to the video. In this video, we are going to see how we can filter rows in Power Query Editor. So let's move on to the Power Query Editor. This is the Power Query Editor interface. So here in the customers table, we will see how we can filter some rows. For example, here we are having the gender column and I only want information of the male uh, gender. So what I will do, I will click on this drop down. List may be incomplete here it's selling, so I will load more. So here I can select only male, female or any. So I will select male, then I will click on OK. So here we can see that we are only getting the records of the male members, of the male customers. Now, I want only female. So here it is only of the female customers. In order to clear the customer filter, just click on clear filter. Okay. So that's how we can filter the rows. Let's see some other filtering options. So here we have having this column of total children. So I want only the data of the customers who are having children, who are having total children. What I will do, I will click on this drop down. And here there's another option. Number filters. So here what we can do is, we can apply various filter options. Here we are getting the filter for greater, does not equal, greater than, greater than or equal to, less than, less than or equal to or between. So what I will do, I will click on equals. So here this pane is open here. Keep rows where total children equals. Okay, so here we are getting only to similarly we can select greater than also I will first I will clear the filter I will click on greater than is greater than 2 so here I am getting only values 3, 4, 5 so I also clear that filter. Clear filter. Let's move on to another filtering option for date. So here also, there are same options available. So we can click on equals before, after or between some date. We also have options for years, next year, this year, last year month so what i will do i will click on this month so uh, actually this is this month is march so let's see if it selects only march okay so i think there is no such data for that i will undo this step i will click on month and I'm going to give on month I'm going to go to January okay so here we are getting January months only people whose birth date comes in January month same way we can explore other filtering options which are available here so let's move on to other options which we can do we are also we are having this option to reduce the rows. We can keep some rows or we can remove some rows. What I will do is I will remove rows. Remove top rows. So when I will click on this, I want to remove the top two rows, which will be B customer ID with BB112 and BB113. So it should directly start from BB114. So what I will do, I will click on remove top rows. So number of rows, you have to specify how many top rows you have to remove. The top one row, two rows, three rows, five rows or ten rows. So I will click on two. Two rows I don't want. I'll click on OK. 
you can see the starting from BB114. I will reverse this step. Again, it is BB112. Similarly, we can do remove bottom rows. Similarly, we can also remove alternate rows. We can remove duplicates. We can remove errors. So that's how it functions. So that's how we have seen how we can filter the rows in Power Query Editor. I hope you have understood and got a basic idea of how to how to filter some rows uh, based on some various uh, different different steps. Thank you for watching the video and if you haven't subscribed my channel, do subscribe so you can get uh, updates on uh, the upcoming Power BI. Thank you very much.